And we'd like to welcome everybody back. This is the 2019 CNIT National Championship Sunday. And in front of us we have the 11U division, which is Triple Balance taking on the Brampton Warriors. As we get off to the action right away, if you were just with us earlier, you watched Halifax Elite claim the national title, gold medal, for the CNIT 10U division this year. And a nice jumper to start off this game. Finish, give the basket to number 11, Caleb, for triple balance. Getting his team on the board in the early going here. We've got two 14 minute halves for you in store. At the line is number 12, Marquise Tyrell. No good on the first shot. And this definitely will be a battle of the bigs as Tyrell and Caleb are gonna be going at it for the first little bit here. Tyrell no good on the second one. Rebound is Phoenix to Caleb. It's a pass over to Isaac. Isaac now bringing it up. Isaac off the dribble. Three, no good, just misses. Coming down with it is number 24, Draylon David. Another turnover. We've got an early track meet going between these two. Layup, no good. Attempt on the left hand there. Ball comes down. Battle for it in the post. And they're going to call a foul on the Warriors. Here's the inbound. Hop step, too many steps. It's going to be a travel and Brampton Warriors basketball. Quick look in the semifinal action earlier today. It was triple balance over TPG that got them into the final here while Brampton managed to defeat Halifax Elite to get themselves here. Triple balance finishing two and one in Pool B. Good enough for second in the division, whereas The Branton Warriors finished 3-0 in the very same division. So these two teams have a history. As it was Brampton that was able to come away with the win earlier in this tournament yesterday. Battle for it on the floor. Brampton comes up with it, loses a handle on it, out of bounds, and it's gonna be triple balance ball, a very Sloppy start to this half. We'll see if both teams can uh, take better care of the basketball, but with the full court press on for the Branson Warriors, that may be just a little bit harder. Press is broken though. Here comes triple balance, up and in. Gets the roll, number three. Just a minute here. Give that basket to Marcus. And too many steps, Marcus involved again. Forcing the turnover there as Malachi Phillips unable to stop his feet from moving. Here's Marcus bringing it in. Shot goes up, that's Jordan, no good. Rebound Branton, Phillips coming down with it. But he gets swarmed by the defense, goes up and under, can't get the foul or the bucket. Fight for it on the floor, jump ball. Branton Warriors basketball. Eleven thirty to go here in this first half. Another interception and turnover there. Triple balance coming up with it. Kicks it over. Kicks it back out, shot goes up. Can't get the kind roll. Branton coming down with it. The press is still on. Branton breaks it. Kicks it back out. Floater. Oh, just rims out. Rebound again, no good. Up and under and count it. Number 24, Draylon David knocking it down under the basket. Defense! 
There comes Jordan on the crossover, loses it again. They're gonna call that a jump ball and this time around it's gonna be triple balance with the possession. Substitution into the game for triple balance is number 13, Aiden. Kicks it in to number one, Jordan. Shot goes up, no good. And that's gonna go out of bounds. It is Brampton ball. Here's a crossover. Warriors break the press. Shot goes up. Can't get the kind roll, Brampton. Well, the rim has a lid on it right now for them. Here's a rebound, Marcus. Driving fast, gonna try and do it himself. Up and in, you can count it. Triple balance, now up six to two with 10-12 to go here in the half. It's gonna be a foul there. Excuse me, no, a turnover. Here's a pass. That was Tristan on the inbound, who's checked into the game. Up, under, can't get it. Coming down with it, number 12, Tyrell. Oh, trips over himself was Miller. That was Jalen Miller. Another turnover, though. Aiden coming up with it. Gets it down. Here's Jordan. Jordan gets it over in time. Shot goes up. Just rims out for Tristan. Now bringing it up, Henry for Brampton, number 13 now. Shifts the defense. Nice pass into Tyrell, but can't finish the layup. Jalen David finding Marquise Tyrell wide open under the basket, but Tyrell just having a rough day under there. Another crossover, nice move that time. Goes up and in, and you can count it. Number 11, Jalen Miller, what a shot that was. The press is still on, 9.08 to go here in the first half. These are two halves, two 14 minute halves here in the 11U CNIT National Championship game. Here's a kick over. Five seconds on the shot clock. And we're gonna have a quick timeout here for the Brampton Warriors. Do not go anywhere. We'll be right back with the 11 UCNIT National Championship game here on North Pole Hoops. NPH National Showcase Circuit. From the grassroots level to the pros, a system has been developed through the National Showcase Circuit. North Pole Hoops hosts camps in Canada's major basketball markets that focus on exposure, skill development, and character development. Top performers go on to receive athletic scholarships in Canada and the United States. There are currently over 200 Canadian men and women playing at the NCAA Division I level. Canada's next top talents are identified at NPH's National Showcase Circuit. NPH National Showcase. NPH Scouting Service. The NPH Scouting Service is another platform. And we are back here for the 2019 11U CNIT National Championship Games here on North Pole Hoops. We've got the Brampton Warriors out of Brampton, Ontario, taking on Triple Balance out of the GTA. Nice find under the basket there. And Jalen Miller starting to find his offensive touch here for the Warriors as the game is now tied at six with 8.25 remaining in the first half. Here's Aiden. Tries to find the open man under the basket, loses it. But we're gonna have a jump ball on the floor there. Brampton getting the inbound. Miller bringing it up. Pass deflected. Still gets it out. 
And it's going to be Tristan, number 22 there, called with the reach in as Henry was trying to blow past him. Just uh, waiting for one of the players to tie up their shoes before we continue with the action. It's going to be inbounds going to be on the baseline. There's a kick out. Look in the corner here. Gets it up top. This is David. Kicks it over to Henry. Henry for three. No good. Rebound. Tyrell comes up with the board. Finds open man in the corner. The extra pass. Shot goes up. No good on the three. Tyrell one more time. Big rebound for him. Shot goes up. No good. This time it's Caleb that comes down with the rebound. Tristan up on the fast break. Just rims out Tyrell with the rebound. Coming back the other way is Henry. Henry now kicks it out. Three point shot, no good. Big rebound there by Jalen Miller. One more time, kicks it out. Miller gets it back under the basket. He's gonna get called with the push. Jordan's gonna get called with the push under the basket and going to the line is number 11, Jalen Miller for the Brampton Warriors. Brampton in white. Triple balance in blue. Can't get the roll on the first free throw. Here comes the second. Knocks it down. And we're gonna have some substitutions. Coming into the game for triple balance is number five, Tyshawn. And bringing it in is Jordan. Oh, Caleb with the steal. Kicks it back out, but knocked away by David. Jalen David on the fast break. What a rejection that was by Jordan. It's not a foul. David thought it was a foul, but Jordan got all ball before knocking it out. Here's the pass out to Miller. Miller. Kicks it up top. That was for Myrie. There's a kick out. Myrie, floater, knocks it down. Excuse me, that was. Uh, that was Rehaul that actually got that bucket there, and we have another turnover, and it's going to be Brampton basketball. Rehaul with the bucket. Stepping onto the floor here in his first few minutes of action. 6.17 to go here in the first half. Crossover. David. Gets it over to Miller inside to Rehaul. Kicks it out, great ball movement here by Branton. But too many steps that time around and it's gonna be a triple balance possession. Five fifty-nine to go here in the first half. Uh, Brampton leading nine to six. Jordan bringing it up for triple balance in the blue, Branton Warriors in the white. Caleb gets it stripped off him. Here's David on the fast break, goes up and lays it in. Number 24, Draylon David with the finish. Great heads up play there on defense to get the easy two. 
Here's Jordan. Waiting for someone. That's a screen. Rejects it. Goes in. Caleb. Baseline jumper. Oh, just can't fall. Great rebound there, though, by Triple Balance. Great second effort all around. Can't come down with it. Three consecutive offensive boards. Here's a find to Brampton. No good. And he finds it and one. That's what he, that's what the coaches were calling for. <laughs> Great finish there. Give that one to number zero Phoenix. Here's a find inside. David. Knocks it out, and it's still going to be triple balance ball. <laughs> and here we are, substitution for a triple balance. Emmanuel coming into the game for, for them. Here's a kick out. Nice attempted pass on the inside there. Caleb fighting for it, can't come up with it. Brampton with the turnover. Here comes Henry. And didn't get a chance to see what happened there, actually. Natural balance leading 11 to 8 right now. Excuse me, 13 to 8 at this time. Here's Caleb. Trying to work inside. Attempted kick out. Gets it back. Mauled by three players. Shot goes up and he's going to get fouled is Tyshawn. And Tyshawn now going to go to the line for triple balance. 4.04 remaining in this first half. It's been a defensive grind so far in this one. No good on the first free throw. No good on the second. And we're going to have I believe there was a lane violation there. And it's going to be Brampton ball now with 4.02 remaining here in the half. Triple balance leading 13 to 8 over the Brampton Warriors. Henry, mid range jumper, no good. Rebound comes right back. No good this time, the rebound for Phoenix. And he's going to bring it up now with his head up, looking for an option. Going to try and do it himself. Oh, nice finish there by Phoenix. Driving through to the basket. Using those big shoulders of his to create the separation. Here's David now. In the corner, Henry. Gets it back over to Francis. This is David now, kicking it back out. Francis in the corner to Henry. Three seconds on the shot clock. Step back goes up, somehow hits the rim, but triple balance still comes down with the rebound. Oh, and a turnover right away. Got another substitution back into the game for Brampton is number 11, Jalen Miller. Also in is number zero, Dante Jones. Also, number 12, Marquise Tyrell. Jones gets it over. Here's Henry in the corner to Miller. Miller, Jones. Back to Miller, four seconds on the shot clock. 
Miller puts it up just in time. It's going to be a shot clock violation. And after back-to-back -back shot clock violations, or near shot clock violations, Brampton's going to take a timeout to talk it over. And we'll be right back here at the 2019 CNIT National Championship Games. And we'd like to welcome everyone back to the 2019 CNIT National Championship Sunday here at the Haber Center in Burlington, Ontario. This is the 11U Championship game between Triple Balance out of GTA and Brampton and the Brampton Warriors out of, of course, Brampton, Ontario. My name's Ryan Greco taking care of your commentary. 2.30 to go here in the first half as we get back to the action as Phoenix is going to get charged with the charge. How many on zero? Number zero. As the coach has asked, that is his first personal on the ground. Much to do to the uh, dismay of the Brampton coaching staff who were hoping for more fouls. And here's Francis. Gets it to Jones in the corner. Francis gets it back. It's going to be out of bounds. And it's going to be triple balance ball. And here we are bringing it up is triple balance. See who this is. This is number six, Emmanuel. Loses a handle on it. Henry comes down with it. Here comes Henry the other way. Henry goes up and in and lays it in for the Brampton Warriors, who now increase their lead 15 to 10. Both of these teams came out of the Pool B division. And it was Brampton that took first place going 3-0, having already defeated Triple Balance earlier in round robin action. as Triple Balance went two and one before also managing to knock off TPG in the first semifinal game earlier today. And the meanwhile, Brampton was able to defeat Halifax Elite. Of course, the 10Us just claimed the gold medal in the 10U division. Congratulations again to them. And a hard-fought win over TPG. A lot of great programs in the building competing for a CNIT National Championship. And don't go anywhere after this one. We have also the 12U Championships happening right after this. And then, of course, the grand finale, the 13U Championships. Happening a little bit later on in the day. Getting back to the action here, 140 to go here in the first half, 15 to 10 for Brampton. We'll see if Caleb and the rest of Triple Balance can get something going here. Jordan, no good from three. Nice attempt on the shot there. Ref's gonna call two shots to reward that effort under the basket for number zero, Phoenix. No good on the first one. No good on the second, and they're going to call a foul on Caleb, number 11, for triple balance. Getting a little too physical under the basket there as he was going for the loose ball. Referee calls the foul. Here's Miller. Gets it back out. 
Shot goes up, no good. Miller coming down again with the rebound. Kicks it back over. This is Malachi Phillips back into the game. Phillips now splits the defense, goes up himself, comes in, just can't get it to finish, but Miller comes down with it after being knocked loose by Tyrell. And another. It's gonna be a white ball. I think they're calling a traveling violation on Blue in the corner, or I think the possession was just off a jump ball. Referee didn't give the signal to tell us which one it was. Oh, nice split there. David can't finish, however. Phoenix coming down with the rebound. Here's Jordan bringing it up now. Number one for triple balance. Guarded by number 11, Jalen Miller for Branton. Kicks it off in the corner. This is Marcus. Jordan guarded again by Miller. Crossover. Going to try and do it himself. Gets fouled on the ground, and they're going to call it on the ground. And the foul is on Malachi Phillips, number 10 for the Brampton Warriors. Thirty-four point eight seconds remaining. Uh, I believe we're in the bonus though, so Jordan's gonna go to the line. No good. Tyrell brings it up. Still 24 seconds for the shot clock here. Phillips now kicks it out. Into the game was Justice Murray. Oh, there's the nice finish there by number 13, Matthew Francis. And one increases the lead to seven, the largest lead of the game for Branton. At the perfect time, too, as we're just getting into halftime here with 25 seconds remaining. A second and a half of difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Shot goes up, Caleb coming down. He's rejected though. And Murray is the one that comes down with it. Murray now running the offense. Kicks it over. This is Francis in the corner to Phillips. Phillips, no good. Big rebound again by Phoenix. Nice pass out to Jordan. Jordan up and but can't get it just as time expires. And at the half, Branton Warriors are leading 18 to 10, but don't go anywhere. We will be right back with second half action here at the 2019 CNIT. The North Pole Hoops Blueprint is a multi-layered system designed for Canadian basketball talent to maximize their potential from grade five all the way to the NBA. The NPH Showcase Circuit is your opportunity to learn the blueprint while joining the NPH family. Our pathway begins with 17 exposure camps across Canada for boys and girls ages 10 to 18. Starting with our foundation that is the Junior NPH Showcase Circuit, this level caters to elementary student athletes in graduation to the high school tier. As a camper, you will have the opportunity to enter the NPH National Rankings where player profiles are created, acting as online resumes. This database is directly connected to a network of over 150 prep and post-secondary programs. By attending our camps, you will maximize on scholarship opportunities, perform in front of national scouts, and get a chance to learn from elite NBA skills trainer, David Tyndale. Entering the showcase environment provides every camper an opportunity to measure their talent against elite level prospects within their region. Top performers raise their stock and begin the recruitment process with exposure opportunities through national rankings, player mixtapes, and connecting families directly to colleges and university coaches. Regardless of age, gender, or talent level, developing professionalism and positive habits are vital for the success of all campers in life and basketball. The Blueprint tackles academic eligibility, self-reflection, assessment, goal setting, and brand management all aspects necessary to become a professional on and off the court. The NPH Showcase Circuit takes place between April to December in a player-focused environment, while the Canadian National Invitational Tournament in July brings a team-focused evaluation platform. 
The CNIT brings 100 plus top tier club programs from around the world to compete for the national crown. Student athletes continue their journey to the next level as North Pole Hoops invites the network of prep and post-secondary programs to evaluate talent live and direct. As the summer comes to a close, high school season remains a lasting component to a student athlete's pathway. Players who thrive in high school are recruited by prep programs to continue pursuing the next level in a competitive environment. At this stage, North Pole Hoops has identified Canada's top basketball prospects from coast to coast placing them at programs within the National Preparatory Association. Founded in 2016, this league is quickly emerging as a global destination for the world's elite basketball prospects. Utilizing the exposure arm of North Pole Hoops comprised of digital marketing, live broadcasting, and scouting, NPH acts as a media and marketing partner for the NPA to maximize exposure for our student athletes helping gain scholarship opportunities. Our ultimate measure of success. Climb the line. I'd like to welcome everyone back here, the 2019 CNIT 11U Division Gold Medal Game. Jordan getting it off for triple balance with the three-pointer, their first made three of the game for triple balance. And what a time to start to kick off this second half. My name's Ryan Greco taking care of your commentary. And we've got uh, quite the game so far here as a nice finish there, a 5-0 run to start this second half for Triple Balance after giving up an 8-0 run to the Brampton Warriors to close out the first half. So whatever the coaching staff told them, it worked. As also Triple Balance looking for a little bit of revenge having fallen to the Brampton Warriors in group play just yesterday. Here's the inbound. Checking it in was number 24, Draylen David. Kicks it out, Phillips, extra pass. Kicks it out, Murray, wide open for three. Can't make it. Comes down with his own rebound, however. Smallest guy on the floor, how about that? And Phillips changing in mid-direction. And there's Marquise Tyrell with the big finish under the basket. Some much needed points for him having missed a few layups earlier. That's got to be a confidence booster for him. 2-3 zone defense for the Brampton Warriors. Here's a kick out. This is Marcus in the corner to Jordan. Marcus almost loses a handle on it. Back to Jordan. Five seconds on the shot clock. They're going to have to get it up. And it's going to be a violation. And it's going to be a turnover for the Brampton Warriors. They're going to get possession. I believe a man-to-man uh, -man press is in play right now for the triple balance. Floater up and in. Number 13, Matthew Francis. Easily broken by Brampton. 12.04 remaining here in this game. Winner of this gets to claim the 11U National Championship. Shot goes up, no good. There's a miss. Here's the inbound. You got to Pass inside. And there goes Francis, up and in, but they're going to call a foul. My, 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 yeah. As uh, Marquise Tyrell now going to go to the line. Both him and Caleb for triple balance. Largest players out here on the floor. And Marquise Tyrell, no good on the first one. Tyrell, no good on the second. Caleb fighting for the board. Comes up with it, kicks it out to Phoenix, to Jordan. Now Jordan bringing it up for triple balance. 22 to 15, 11.38 to go here in this game. Winner gets the 11U National Championship. 
Phoenix, nice cross over there, stop and dribble, tries to get it inside. Caleb's hands weren't ready, however, and it went out of bounds. And you can just see the body language of triple balance after such a great start, starting out 5-0. and Well, a 4-0 run for Branton as they've responded. Three ball goes up, no good. Caleb, big board for him, nearly loses a handle on it again though. Here's Jordan. Jordan, surrounded by white shirts, is gonna try and go for it himself. Tries to go baseline, goes up, and he's gonna get called with a uh, push. He's gonna get fouled into the game now for triple balance is number 13, Aiden. Easy find there and a quick fast break layup for number 24, Draylon David. And we're going to have a triple balance timeout and we're going to take a quick timeout as well. 10.42 to go in this one. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. champion. And we'd like to welcome everyone back. This is the 2019 CNIT 11U Division gold medal game between Triple Balance out of the GTA and the Brampton Warriors, of course, out of Brampton, Ontario. My name is Ryan Greco, taking care of your commentary. I'd like to thank you all out there who've tuned in on YouTube land here on the North Pole Hoops channel to catch all the CNIT action happening here on Championship Sunday. As don't go anywhere, we will have the 12U division decided right after this game, followed by the 13U game happening a little bit later on this evening. But with 10.30 to go in this one, the Brampton Warriors are looking to try and build a sizable lead here. They've already built their biggest one of the game here at nine points, up 24 to 15. Of course, Brampton looking to try and go 2-0 and against Triple Balance, having defeated them in group play uh, yesterday during the earlier part of the tournament. Triple Balance looking for a little bit of revenge with a little extra on top and a gold medal to go along with it. Here's Phoenix, nice dribbling ability there. The runner, no good, just a little bit strong. Gets it himself. And Phoenix kicks it out, finds the open man. Caleb kicks it out, Jordan for three, too strong. Phoenix gets it himself and he's gonna get fouled and go to the line and what a force Phoenix has been under the basket here for triple balance, keeping it close. Makes good on the first one, nothing but net. 9.57 to go here in this game. Lead down to eight. Can he make it down to seven? Adam, strong middle. Strong middle, Adam. Short. Short. Phillips steps up, misses the shot. Coming down with the rebound is Darnell. Number 10 for triple balance. Phoenix nearly loses it, loses it this time for sure, and now this time is gonna get called with the foul. Oh, they're not calling a foul, saying it's out of bounds. And coming back into the game for triple balance is number five, Tyshawn. There's a pass into the game as well. Number three, 
Adam Ellie. Turnover. Jordan coming up with it. Gets it over to Aiden. Aiden up and foul. Count it and one. Number 13, Aiden going to the line for a third point. A big bucket there for triple balance, bringing this back to a two possession game with 9.16 to go here in the game. Substitution back into the game for Branton Warriors is number 54. Emily Cat Real. See if he can reassert himself into this game. Already has a few points to his name. Now bringing it up, Draylen David for Branton Warriors. Kills his dribble, nearly loses it. Henry now comes up over and can't get it to fall. Good effort there, but just jumping all over it is Emmanuel for triple balance. Gets it up to Jordan, fast break. Jordan not seeing the open man running down the floor there. Tries to do it himself and, and there's a foul as Aiden to prevent a uh, easy basket had to make sure he got a, a piece of arm there as he was attempting for the basketball. 8.42 remaining, 24 to 18. Branton leads. Crossover, that was Miller kicking it in the corner. Kicks it back out, no good. Aiden on the, on the steal now, goes nice behind the back, up and in. Wow, ni nice attempt there with the left hand but can't finish it. But getting fouled is Emmanuel and he's gonna go to the line for two. A24 to go here in this game. We've got two shots. Saying there's a possible bonus here. It's going to be one and one. So a missed shot here by Emmanuel, and the ball's live. However, if he knocks it down, he's going to get a chance for a second. Makes good on the first. Oh, I stand corrected. Here's the inbound. There's Henry. Tries to do it himself. Big rejection there by Caleb. Triple balance ball now. Emmanuel kicks it out to Aiden. Aiden now trying to find the open man. Finds Caleb. Almost runs into his own teammate. Oh, nice move there by Caleb. What a nice step back and finish there. Definitely the highlight of his day so far. Does he have another one though? And the foul is going to be on number five, Tyshawn, who got a hand in there. Everyone thought it was going to be on Caleb, even though there was no contact whatsoever. But it turns out it was actually uh, just the defender before him. <laughs> if Tristan had a microphone, you'd hear him agreeing. <laughs> Here we go. Action in the corner now. Caleb kicks it out to Aiden. Aiden. Oh, they're going to say he uh, dribbled out of bounds. Or no, nope, they're going to say, sorry, it was a foul. Nope. Yeah, it was right the first time, out of bounds. <laughs> right, here's the inbound. This is Miller with it. Gets it over to Francis. That's Rial, kicks it back out. Eight seconds on the shot clock, 7.40 to go in the game, turnover. They kick it back out again. David in the corner, Miller for three, no good. Big rebound there though by Tyshawn. 
Jordan trying to go up himself. Oh, what a nifty move that was by Jordan getting by the much bigger Rial to finish under the basket. Very impressive move there, and the lead is now down to three. 26-23, 7-12 to go in this game. Rial, jumper, no good. Nobody there on the box out, and an easy bucket for number 11, Jalen Miller. Kick over to Aiden. Aiden, breakdown dribble, kicks it out. Shot goes up, no good. Rebound is Henry. Kicks it back over to number 13, Matthew Francis. Francis finds the cutting man. Big rejection there by Caleb, comes down with it. Another huge rejection by Caleb in the second half. Jordan, can he do it one more time? No, just rims out. On the rebound is Francis, gets it to Miller. Miller to Rial. Rial, nice find on the inside. Great passing, but just at the last second. As David misses the shot. Here's the inbound. Jordan to Aiden. 6.18 to go in this one. Oh, nice move by Aiden there to try and separate himself. Gets it back over to Jordan. Jordan going to go up and under again one more time. This time does not go. Rehal, great job there managing to defend the rim without inflicting a foul. And great job defensively at the other end by triple balance. Henry goes up. No good. Caleb, big board for him again. Here's Jordan bringing it up. Spin move, kicks it out. Jordan, floater, no good. Rial. One more kick out. This is Miller. Tries to pass it up to David. David's gonna try and take it himself and he gets it down. What a shot there by Draylon David. Up and under with the finish through contact. And they're going to call a foul. They're going to call a reach and foul there. 5.14 to go as Branson now once again leads 30 to 27. Lead is back up to seven. And a substitution into the game now for the Brampton Warriors. Number 12, Marquise Tyrell checks into the game. Just after a little bit of uh, confusion there on the, <laughs> the scores table. But everything's good now as Jordan gets the ball back. Can triple balance break down this lead one more time? 5.04 remaining. Caleb, spin move, up, can't get it to drop. Phoenix with the rebound, but he's gonna dribble it out of bounds. A little bit of frustration from Phoenix. David bringing it up. He's been running a lot of the point guard duties in the last couple of minutes here. 4.55 remaining in this game. 30 to 23, Brampton Warriors lead. Triple balance. Trying to claw their way back here in the gold medal game. And a travel call on number 11, Jalen Miller. Triple balance with yet another opportunity here to cut into this lead. 30 to 23. Oh, big steal there by David. Finishes the layup. And that could be a huge basket for the Brampton Warriors with 4.30 remaining. Jordan, gonna get called with the travel. Nope, 
They're going to call a foul before the uh, the steps. Coach, that's four. Four fouls for number 11, Jalen Miller. They're going to call it on the ground, saying it was a reach in before Jordan was able to reach, before Jordan was able to take too many steps. And into the game is Malachi Phillips, number 10. Here's Jordan, 4.13 remaining. Shot, just rims out. Tyrell comes down with the rebound. Aiden, nice steal there. Big time steal for him. Gets it back over to Jordan. Here's Phoenix, gonna try and go up himself. Goes off of, off foot, gets it over to Caleb. Caleb steps out, nice touch there from the baseline. Big shot for him, 32-25 with 3.38 to go. And Triple Balance is going to need a stop. They're gonna need a stop. Shot goes up, no good. Phillips gets it out. And Francis had the ball, gets hacked by Marcus, number three, for triple balance with 3.22 to go. It's going to be on the sideline. Here's the inbound, Draylon David. Kicks it out. Henry. Oh, nice pass on the inside there, but up and under, no good. Jordan. Done a lot of ball handling duties right now in the second half for triple balance. Kicks it over, Phoenix lets it fly. Can't get it to drop. Aiden, another near steal there. Phillips finally comes up with it. Can't get the finish. And Henry comes up now. 2.40 to go. Layup, no good. David finds a pass for the cutting Henry and puts it in and with 2.30 remaining and a nine point lead, the Brampton Warriors really just need to make sure they're taking care of the basketball at this point. Triple balance running out of possessions here. Here's Jordan. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Gets it over. Caleb steps out for the jumper, knocks it down again. Four straight points for him now. Will they keep finding him with two minutes remaining? Seven point game. Triple balance, need a stop here and maybe even a little bit of luck. They get the stop, will they get the luck? Here's Aiden, kicks it over, there's Jordan. Can't get it to drop. A tough turn of events there after such a great effort on defense. And it's gonna be number three, Marcus is gonna get called with the push. And number five, Tyshawn coming in. And we're gonna have a quick timeout here. Do not go anywhere, we'll be back with 135 remaining in this one here at the CNITs. Keep it going, keep the intensity high. Get your feet square, get your feet square. Take your home, write it down, grab a homie, and work on it. Work on it, master. AJ Lawson, go! He gets it to go! Wow! Pick it up, kill him. Oh my god! Top 10. Top 10, top 10. Two way players are the best players. Understand that. Two way players are the best players. Here's Sabri Phillips. Two way jam! Let's go, boy! It doesn't matter from what city you're from, how tall you are, what school, what club you represent. The game speaks. There's no politics here. Keep it going. Keep the intensity high. Get your feet square, get your feet square. Take your home, write it down, grab a homie, and work on it. Work on it, master. AJ Lawson, go! 
He gets it to go! Wow! Pick it up, Jalen! Oh my god! All right, I'd like to welcome everyone back here. The final minute, 35 seconds of this 2019 CNIT gold medal game between the Branton Warriors and Triple Balance in the 11U division. Branton Warriors looking to go undefeated in this tournament, having gone 3-0 in group play, winning the semifinals, trying to get that fifth win. Right now, they're a minute and 35 seconds away from it. Three possession game right now. Triple balance on the other side. They're going to need a stop. They're going to need a stop, and they're going to need a few extra buckets. And whatever that may entail, whether it's fast break or just moving it up the floor with some pace. But we'll see if they can pull it off. Zone defense in effect here. Nice pass on the inside. Shot goes up, no good. Henry on the miss, but gets his own rebound. And uh, there was a miss on the shot clock. A minute five to go now. Up, no good. Tyrell with the miss. 58 seconds remaining in this one now. Find on the inside, David. Tries to work his way out. Phillips. Brampton trying to pass it out at this point. Four seconds on the shot clock. Shot goes up. No good. Rebound, Jordan. 35 seconds remaining now. Jordan needs a quick layup and he gets it. It's a two possession game now with 29 seconds to go. Here comes the press. The press is on. Finally gets it over. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Misses. Tyrell gets the kind roll and that's probably gonna do it with 13 seconds remaining. It's 36 to 29 for the Brampton Warriors. 36 to 29, five seconds, four seconds. They're gonna count the last bucket. And that's gonna be it. The Brampton Warriors are your CNIT national champions by a final of 36 to 31. A congratulations to the Brampton Warriors, but please do not go anywhere. We are coming right back with the 11U, or excuse me, with the 12U national championship game but before we leave we say a big congratulations to both teams for making it this far as the Brampton Warriors are your CNIT 11U division national champions.